I'll just brief out and I'll show you some video on the end of. I'll show you some video also. Okay, let us go to the introduction part of metal casting and welding. Okay, uh, the first part we have the in the content sheet we have you can see that introduction to manufacturing process and their application, casting, metal joint process, description. Uh, for casting, sand casting, electric air cooling, all this. But electric hydraulic welding is, uh, comes under module five. But today I will come cover with the module one. Okay. So what is manufacturing process? They said I told sir it's a procedure. Manufacturing process nothing but you are changing the converting some raw material using some tools, machine tools, you know, lathe machine, drilling machine, shaping machine, or you do forging operation, or do foundry operation. Finally, you'll get a output, sir. Finished product. That is another meaning of these things. Okay. Anything you convert in a process, you convert some raw material to finished product. So that I told there are different different processes: cutting process, non-cutting process, fabrication process. You, you have seen this, in this many of the things you already learned on the previous uh, study, like the turning, drilling, milling, shaping, boring, uh, casting, or casting. This time you are going to uh, learn uh, rolling, forging, the all sheet metal works, extrusion. Uh, welding, glazing, sorting also you learn now, riveting, screw, all these are the different types of process where you do it in the, uh, in the industries to make some component, you convert some raw material and you convert, you turn into a final finished product using any of this method. Now in this list, you use any one or two combination or any number of combination, any combination of the work and finally you make a product. What is the casting now? Casting is a process in which molten metal is poured into a cavity. I told yesterday, it is a process in which molten metal is poured into a cavity which confirms the shape of the desired component. So you can see some small diagram. There's a two mold here, two mold box, and you have some shapes, some patterns, and dies where the hot molten metal is from the bucket. It is poured inside the cavity. Finally, you'll get a product, something like a pipe structure. So all this is a procedure in the casting. So we can see this. These are some of the things where you can do that. Why you go for casting? So why can't you do it the same other method? Because casting is the easiest process. It is just procedure. This is a process so where you can fabricate or you can develop a complex structure. Suppose if you have suppose if you have to make a rectangular box or square box or something like a geometry box or some mobile box, something like that, you can make it with simple sheet sheet metal. But if you have a different profiles, if you have a very complex profile, means a different, different shape, then you cannot go by any other method. So casting is the best method where you can do uh, any complex shape. Okay. Types of casting, there are sand casting, investment casting, die casting, and centrifugal casting. We'll deal by one by one in the next classes. But today, just I'll give you introduction about the sand casting. Okay. You can look at that things. Okay. See, this is some two mold box. Two mold box will be there. I and uh, there is a core inside that. There is a pattern and there is a uh, pouring cup. There is a runner. There is a riser. All these things. So what is this? In the box, they will fill. I will show you some of the videos. Then you can you can easily understand the things. There is a box, steel box, and where you can going to fill the sand inside that, and you keep the pattern a core inside that and you fill the sand completely around that pattern then finally you remove that pattern and you pour that the outer metal or molten metal where there is a core and cavity this molten metal flows inside that where there is a cavity it go to fill there so by looking at this you may feel difficulty but when you see look at the diagram then it will be easier see this there is a box steel box where that brown color that is a sand one okay there is one part called runner, other part is called riser. Means once you once the molten metal fills inside the cup and core and cavity, one of excess material will come out of the riser. Excess material will come out of the riser. That is a signif that is a significant, there is an indication for a uh, foundry people. Oh, this complete mold is filled with now. Now it is filled with the molten metal. Then they'll stop pouring. Then they'll stop pouring. Then finally they'll go for solidification. Then they'll remove the See, this is a procedure. First, they will take the box. First figure, you, you just observe that. Is my diagram visible for you? Okay. No, sir. 
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಆಗೋಗಿದೆ ಹಾ ಇವಾಗ ಬಂತು ಸರ್ I will just repeat this. Uh, this is a procedure where raw material is converted to finished product. You can use a number of procedure, something like turning, drilling, milling, shaping, casting, any, any, any procedure you can adopt this. And finally, you convert it to a raw material as a procedure. So, this is the procedure. See, you can go directly go to the see, there are, if you want to make some complicated structure, and the, you know, the engine part of the way we have a complex structure, it's not uniform structure. So, pop, put down, so propagate, then you should go for Uh, casting because this is the easiest procedure when, when, when you have to do with complex kind of thing. So let us go to this. First, you can see the first box. You can see the first box. There is a box here. So the box, it may be made up of steel or wood, whatever it is. What you will do? They will fill with the, they will keep the pattern. This is the pattern. This is what you wanted. This is the pattern. Then they will keep the mold box here. They will put the sand. They will, they will fill the sand over these things. completely they will fill the sand see this see he is taking the some tool a ramming tool and just filling all box with completely with the sand finally you remove excess sand and this is a pattern now okay finally what happens after sometimes what he will he will, will keep one more box up this he will keep one more box and he will fill the ram then he will give the runners risers on this thing then finally he will remove that thing remove the that part So once you fill this and you keep the feeder, runner, riser, all these things, see, then what happens? You remove that, remove that pattern. So then you keep the box and tightly fill that. What happens when you remove that uh, solid or wooden pattern here, you will get the same impression here, same, whatever the shape of this uh, pattern, the same pattern you are going to see. It has been removed from the box, this white color patch. This is what, this kind of component we have to produce. So that is the reason why we have kept it here and we fill the sand on the both sides. Finally, what happens? We remove this box and remove this pattern because already we got the shape. We got that impression on the sand. Then we'll fill with the tie. We'll completely we'll keep the box in the reverse position and we'll tighten it. And what happens? We'll pour. Now we are going to pour the molten metal here. Once the molten metal completes here, completely fills here, it completely fills in this gap and finally it comes outward here. Then that is the indication that it complete. This mold is completely filled with the the more uh, the molten metal so then they will understand then they will go for solidification then they'll do this so this is a flow chart so first sand casting procedure first they will take means they will do recycle mix once they use the sand the same sand is recycled means whatever the sand you are going to use it for making the uh, foundry in the foundry lab the same sand is utilized in n number of time that's the reason why uh, there is a less investment there so you are not going to waste the sand there so there is a recycling process okay there is a meaning of this thing okay next here yeah, like this there are many many types of uh, component in the sand casting process see there is some sometimes you need to make the pipes like this sometimes you need to make so that there is a pattern for this see they will keep half here half here half portion here half portion here then finally they will remove these are some of the examples i'll show you some of the videos then you will come to this something like this if you want to make a pattern here you keep the pattern finally what happens you fill the gap and once you pour it finally you'll get this kind of the red color the object which is what we have to manufacture from this so i'll go a bit uh, in a this thing okay so let us see the some of the important things i'll, I'll cover here and i'll show the video so that you can understand what are the advantages of sand casting i told that intricate shape component can be produced what is that intricate shape intricate thing but complex complex geometry complex geometry means tumba kashtavagiruvanta and the engine mail cap irutte gear box cap irutte gear box irutte wheels irutte all these are very complicated means you cannot able to easily manufacture by any other process so this is the best process for manufacturing that intricate or complex difficult shape next highly economical i told that hence sand is utilized recycled 
and many of the components are recycled here so you need not invest more amount here economical the cost is very less just not required with the initial investment because this is done in not in a zero is done in a small garage where you have hand for mass all these things so it not requires high investment you not require highly skilled man to work mean if somebody was uh, physically fit and is good enough to lift the weight okay he can do you will not require any high professionals to do the only thing is for making the pattern design they required uh, skill otherwise afterwards then you not require any kind of thing suitable for small job or production suitable for small job production when you go for a small scale operation small scale production industries it is very much suitable then what are the limitation what are the disadvantages poor dimensional accuracy i told that dimensions will be very poor because once you pour it inside the die and after you make the solidification this will contract means it will it will what happen it will shrink i think you might have seen this whenever you go to the shop go to any cloth shop or any shoe shop something like that first time if you wear first time if you if you wear the t-shirt it will be for fit finally you will tell that hey, exactly my size is correct but when you come when you wash it one time that shirt what happen it becomes a loose that means shrink it it will shrink or it will expand sometimes some cloth will expand sometimes some cloth will shrink so this is a this is a problem with the sand casting so why wow. so how to avoid this you need to give proper tolerance before making a pattern itself yes i am using aluminum i am using iron i am using copper though it will shrink so i should give extra tolerance here then it will come to correct dimension that is the meaning of that is how they overcome this it involves melting of metal i and d kind of thing because you have to melt the metal melting a metal is not a simple easiest job you require very high temperature here uh, not suitable for highly complex shapes very if you have to make very complex shape you should be very careful but you can also do that but if you want to make a huge turbine uh, cover casing all these things gear box all these things which you require more time cannot produce extremely thin section means if you want to make very thin something like a sheet metal you cannot you cannot choose this because whenever you go for casting you should have some thickness minimum thickness for each casting requires one mold and this process require large manpower for mold because you require from 5 to 6 members whenever in the foundry otherwise it is very difficult to handle the plant large working space you require more space otherwise because there is sand there is a ram box there is a tool there is a furnace all these things so require more large space large manpower environmental pollution is i why they are telling environmental pollution because some furnaces they will use uh, wood and you will get lot more smoke inside that okay where the environment is bit different so there are different investment casting investment casting i'll tell you about when i was talking about investment uh, casting because these are the patterns this is the shapes you wanted to make see this is a fish and you see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 in the first object there is a three boxes see so here three boxes here three boxes they will fill them pour the material here it will fill inside this six at a time they go to fill they manufacture with six but this whole thing is made up of a wax you know that honeybee wax the tiny wee wax only the shapes will be done when hot molten metal is poured here this wax will going to burn out burn out means it it will it will it will dissolve easily so finally we will get a see can you see that from the figure last figure see here once this is a wax pattern they will keep it in the sand okay they will pour the molten metal finally what happens this wax motion will they will come out only the molten metal means the so required object is they represent it so this is called investment project mean we are investing the wax here for getting this component that's the meaning of okay this is called uh, shell pattern or investment pattern. okay next we will we'll, we'll see this step 1 in data now we will go to next step I'll show you some of the examples. Check out that. See this. Now, this is a one diagram. This is a one structure. Na, maadak. This is a one. You may have noticed, na. I think you have seen that in your house or somewhere in your program. 
the you will may get the prices on this thing this shape is it easy to make easy to manufacture if it is in clay you can do that ganesh abba ku madadu ad bere ad but you can to make it with a copper or a bronze or iron or steel or aluminum it is very difficult so what i do they go for casting all these kind of intricate shapes are the complex shape see that the bulb and the the, the base all this ganesha the all these things this is not a rectangle or uniform structure there is not a rectangle structure it is something that be something different 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 so first you have to make the pattern then you have to go for casting so casting is one of the technique where so let us see that some of the i'll go to that uh, casting procedure uh you see the video then you come back uh, so that you can uh, i can show you some of the things okay uh, just a minute is it visible right no sir but is no sir one second one second you know problem is Is it okay? See, there is a box, mold box. There is a pattern, the wood pattern. They kept it. They fill with some powder first, tall powder. Then fill with the sand. Now, uh, sand it mele and mat thare. Mat thare na ram mat thare. Tightly pack mat thare. Plus, this all this thing experiment you have to do it in a fountain now because you have to do the level there. Once again, they will fill it. See, very tightly they will fill the sand and they will ram it. They will take that. This is a ramming tool and they will tightly, very tightly fill the sand. ಈ ತರ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತೆಗೆದು ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಕ್ ರೋಡ್ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ನೌ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಉಲ್ಟಾ ಎಸ್ ಅದಾಯ್ತಾ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಉಲ್ಟಾ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಅನದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ನೌ ಆನ್ ದ ಆನ್ ದ ಎಬೋ ಸೈಡ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ರನ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೈಸರ್ಸ್ ನೌ now they will fill now they will fill i will tell you what are the example of spur and spin all this thing. once again they will put the tar uh, they will put the sand okay uh, then they will fill see they will take the tool now they will ram it completely okay once again on the this side also uh, they the tightly they fill with the sand okay right then they will remove the extra sand spray from the strike board okay and see venting wires the wires na means there is a small gap they are going to provide again again that means whenever you pour molten metal they will the ox the hot air should come out excessively huh? ಏರ್ ಎಸ್ಕೇಪ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಅಂತಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ನ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ನಾವು ದೇಲ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ನಾವ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ನಾವು ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಇಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನೋಡಿದ್ರ ಈಗ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ನ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಟೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾವು ಅಂಡ್ ನಾವು ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಪೋರ್ ಮೋಲ್ಟನ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ 
they will pour this is a furnace dry sand mold see and then before going to pour they will check whether the sand is tightly fixed and then to hard ag bandidya and check mark untare a confirmation bandmele they will go for uh, pouring because sand loose agid bitre enate when you pour molten metal what happens that uh, uh, you will not get the mold properly see that the mold box solpa preheat maartare andre yenike andre alli iruvanta some moisture content because if there is any moisture inside the sand this is a advanced procedure if there is any moisture inside the sand what happens it will react with molten metal alle enagutte bere tar anta see now that it becomes very hard now it is ready so the pressure required strength ide sand alli now they will go for right and now strength of the mold is increased after baking baking nothing but just keeping in the oven say see now same procedure if you want to make some dice and all the shape made with the coin medals so all these things made with all in made neat like that all sand ela dry maadi solpa dry aadmele after the mold is prepared partially dried because moisture content sand will get too much to andre it will react okay it will form some oxides okay see so now do you get the impression now now they will pour it over the surface okay now they will pour and they will get it. oh aagu aita inu idya right i will show you one more video please be on line see this is some complicated pump there on pump or a material this they want to make it okay all these are complex structure it's all easy in manufacturing madu kashta and they are very easy but there is a reason they will go for casting there is a reason they will keep it in the mold bag they fill the sand uh, there are different different types of sands are there and i'll just go a bit fast okay This is a tar powder. Any any powder I can because because when you remove two boxes, it should come easily. They'll keep one more mold now. Once again, they'll keep the box and they will fill it with the. This is called runners. It's a strike bar. <clears throat> you know the remove the box and they will remove the patterns here are the pattern take the bodare take nodi take the ga now you will get the impression in the sand this is a very important a impression correct agi irbeku
ಇರ್ತೀರಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಓಲ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರೂ ಟೈಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮೆಲ್ಲಗೆ ಆ ಸ್ಕ್ರೂ ಇಂದ ಮೆಲ್ಲಗೆ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ನಾವು ದೇ ರಿಮೂವ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮೂತ್ಲಿ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಅದು ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ನಾವು ಗೆಟ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಮೇಕ್ ಓಲ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಏರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಏರ್ ವೆಂಚ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಪೋರ್ ಮೋಲ್ಟನ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇದೇ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸಲ್ಸಿಯಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಗೇರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಎಸ್ಕೇಪ್ there is an will give some provisions they will make some holes extra holes there here went right similarly same another box also they will do another box see that means what they kept now adu enagithe core anta core andre enadu aa space alli namage material beda fill aagbaru adanna avoid madakke just to restrict that okay now they will see that now they will spider martare and they will pour this all scrap of the alay boundary sala boundary sala use maadi randa material illa unused agirutte once again they will keep it in the furnace this is a small gas furnace as a gas thing okay and see that now there it is uh, the disc uh, now it is melted so we should be very careful because other may one drop kai mel bidru it's a very See, this is molten aluminium. White color, right? It's aluminium. They pour it inside that. See here, this side, is, you can see the smoke coming out of that the gas. Right? That's the air, air bubbles. Oh, see, it's completely filled now. very hot then then they'll remove the sand very carefully i extra pipes all extra material they have to trim when i trim maadbek adanna they will trim that later Okay, even that name also, stick me and then I get, even name also you can see that now extra material, wherever you want some adjustments. They will do the booth with the gopher drilling machine, see that now made the, made the wound and they will remove that extra parts. I mean, they don't, they don't require that, so they will be so very careful, they will remove that.
Oh, there will be some sand inside that. We will remove that. This is how this is how they go for. They will do some casting things. Anta ita ay na bro. Little bit understood anything? Yes, sir. Right. So uh, let's see that. I will we'll walk. We will go one visit to industry. Okay, we will open for the best because I don't know that what is the condition now. Anyhow, it is locked down now. We'll see. Could be other, could a chance of zero. There, I can be very careful. Like Bunny Andre, definitely I am approaching that. I have sent a request also to yesterday to HR. Uh, he may do, he may help. Okay, he may help, and he may tell that uh, to come in two groups or one group or limited. Other I will not. Yeah, I will. Let's see that. Okay. So this is what I want to convey for 